G'day, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be putting some of these magnetic body mounts on this HKS skyline here. Uh, so there's no body post sticking out. Um, as you can see, they're already on there, it looks great, but I'll take you through the process to uh, put them on. Alrighty, let's get into it. Now the body mounts are all pretty simple. Basically, you'll just uh, use these type of body mounts with the adjustable piece on the bottom. So I've got those on the rear and made the little alloy piece there. The idea is here, the, the magnets are just a tiny bit higher than the, uh, the post here. Because um, the window comes down to, to there and I want it to clip on the boot lid. Anyway, so I made that up, just, uh, you know, bend a bit of aluminium, drill a couple of holes in it, and under that magnet, got a 3mm screw with a lock nut on the bottom, and same on both sides, and then I can adjust it, you know, back and forward as I need it, but they're sitting straight, that's pretty much how they need to be. On the front, uh, I unscrewed this piece off here, and just used the post itself. And drilled a three mil hole through the very bottom hole on the uh, on the mount, or on the original post, and then just put a screw through there with a with a lock nut on that. Yeah, pretty simple. And same thing, three mil hole through there with a lock nut on the bottom. That's looking pretty good to me. Could have gone a little bit lower. Maybe I'll do that later. Just didn't want the uh, tyres rubbing on the body. I think it looks pretty good how it is. Alright, now that I'm happy with the position, reasonably happy anyway, <laughs> I can uh, grab some of these spare magnets, take the tops off, try and hold the body where it should be, and just bang magnets onto it. And then I can trace on the outside. Yeah, that's looking pretty good to me. So with me pin, I can just uh, trace around the outside. And that pin's not very good, so we'll get another one. Doesn't need to be too pretty, of course. Then after I paint the body, you know, I can stick these magnets on the outside, put the other magnets on from the inside and glue them. We'll get to that in a minute. You'll know exactly what I mean then. <laughs> now I can take the magnets off and get the body ready for painting. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty. So I'll give the uh, give it a wash, put the window masks on, and then we can paint it. Now I could have put a bar right along here or something, both ends, um, or just made one piece right across, you know. But I figure these I've got a bit of adjustability, um, and they still wobble. So if uh, especially on the back, the fronts are pretty tight, but on the back, you know. If you happen to sidestep it into a, a gutter or something, at least the mounts are going to move and, you know, you're not going to trash your body quite so easily. That's my theory anyway. <laughs> Alright, so I've cut out my uh, window masks, put them all on. They're reasonably straight, pretty happy with it. <laughs> so I'll get outside now and I'll hit it with some PS5 black for the main part of the body and a bit of uh, PS31 smoke for the windows. So I'll do the black first, of course, let that dry, peel the window masks off, and then hit it with the smoke. Alrighty, I'll go get into it. Alrighty, so there it is, I painted it. Uh, on the way back I took the window mask off, of course, and uh, cleaned up around the edge. There was a few stray bits of, uh, you know, little bits of black here and there around the windows, so I kind of cleaned it up. They do have decals to go around the edge anyway, so I'm not too fast. 
Um, so I wanted to clean up around that before I hit the, uh, the smoke on there. So I'll go do that now. Alrighty, so there it is with the, uh, the smoke on the windows. Now I can't take the, the uh, film off yet. What I need to do is uh, stick the magnets underneath and use these um, bits that I traced earlier, these circles, put some magnets on, on the outside and then I can put some dabs of glue in there and bang the magnets on and it'll stay where it, well, it should stay where it needs to be until it's dry. So I'll get onto that now. Um, I had one problem with the, uh, <laughs> the window mask. Oh, sorry, the, um, the smoke on this window. You can probably see it's um, got a mark in there. Yeah, outside, a little piece of hair just went into the, in, into the fan of the paint and uh, bang. <laughs> so I had to pick that out and yeah, it was no good. So I ended up cleaning it up with a bit of uh, Tamiya body cleaner and sprayed it again but there's a few dots here and there whatever <laughs> i think it'll be fine in the finished product Alrighty, so now we can glue on the uh the magnets and go from there all right so what i'll do here is uh i'll just tape these magnets in place easier said than done <laughs> Yeah, just kind of tape them in place there so they're not going to move hopefully now using our shoe goo we can put some glue on the inside where the magnets are going to be and easy way to tell whether where the magnets are you can just get your finger on it and uh, give it a bit of a push and you see the uh, you see the mark right there it's not 100% accurate but it's close enough the magnet's going to pull itself in but you'll see that in a minute so I'll let that sink a little bit find the next one it's quite a bit of shoe goo there <laughs> so I'll just go around and do them all there's one there bit messy whatever there we just grab our magnets stick them in there we might have to cut the top off later but it'll be fine as you can see it finds the center of the magnet Ah, that one was upside down. <laughs> yep, just make sure they're up the right way when you put them on. Otherwise your body's going to repel the chassis. Anyway, so we'll give that a bit of heat. Just get it drying nicely. It should be fine and when that's all dry I'll probably just run a knife across the top and cut the edge off it I could probably smooth that out with my fingers we'll see how it goes
I reckon that'll do. Never mind me licking my fingers and wiping it on there, that's all good. <laughs> Doesn't matter if there's a little bit of glue over the top, that's all good. It'll probably wear off if anything. So we'll let that dry and then we can take a look at it with the body on the car. All right, it's been about two hours. The shoe goo is not 100% dry, it should be left overnight of course. Um, but it'll be good enough for us to try the body on and see how it looks. I'll have to take these magnets off after I put it on. I can take them off first, whichever, but we'll bang it on. And there we go. I'll get rid of that. And there. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. So I'll get these magnets off. And then we can take the film off. They stick to everything. <laughs> Get that over there. So there it is. You know, might as well rip the film off while we're here. And there's a tatty bit at the back I can probably start at. There we go smoothly. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. There's a few stray bits still around the back. Uh, some of them just don't want to come off. There we go. Get over there. <laughs> and that's him. I reckon that's looking quite sexual. As you might notice in the back window, you can see the, the body mounts. Um, that's why I sort of brought them out here. So they sit in that sort of area. Uh, but I'll probably just go over those with a brush and put a bit of black on it so they're not so visible through the window. And my, uh, my patch in the window on this side actually came out not too bad. You can still see it, but uh, I think it'll be alright. Yeah, pretty happy with that. I think it looks quite good. So we'll, uh, we'll let that dry for another day or so, and then I'll get on to the other body parts. Got to put the, uh, the rear wing on and um, the mirrors, and then get on to those awesome decals. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's our video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe, that'd be awesome. If you like the video, leave a thumb up, that'd be great too. And see you on the next one.